Now this is a quite easy problem. And this is showing the electric field a strength at the center of a hemisphere of radius R uniformly charged with charge density, surface charge density sigma. So sigma is the surface charge density that is also given to you. So this is uniformly charged with sigma that is surface charge density. And let us say R is the radius of this hemisphere. And radius of hemisphere is also given to you. So radius is given. So how will you proceed for finding electric field at point O? So let us say this point is O, center of hemisphere. So what we can do is we can do ring summation. So let us say I have an angle theta. So from here if I consider an angle theta. So this angle is theta. And let us say there is a ring. Now at d theta I have another ring. So if I cut two rings at theta and d theta I will have this ring. Are you getting? So it will contain some charge and due to this ring, so let us say this distance is x and basically x you can find. So this triangle, this is r, this angle is theta. So if I drop a perpendicular from here, so this length will be r sin theta and this length will be r cos theta. Are you getting? So this is r. So this is r cos theta and this is r sin theta. So x is basically perpendicular length from the ring to the uh, plane. This is r sin theta. Are you getting? Now I know, so this is my ring. So basically we know if I have a ring, due to ring the electric field at center at a distance x is given by q into x. This result we have already derived. Qx by 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus x square raised to the power 3 by 2. A is the radius of ring and x is the distance. So if I apply the same thing. What is the charge on this ring? So let us say this length is, we have already calculated, this is r. So this is r cos theta. This is the same length. So what is the perimeter of this ring? This is 2 pi r, but r is r cos theta. So the area of this ring will be 2 pi r, r cos theta. This is the perimeter into thickness is r d theta. Are you getting or not? So this thickness is r d theta. So this is r and this angle is d theta. So this becomes r d theta. So this is the area of elemental ring. If I multiply by sigma, so this will give me q. What is x? That is this perpendicular distance. That is r sin theta. r sin theta. And this divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. a square plus x square. That is the radius whole square plus distance whole square raised to the power 3 by 2. So this distance is r sin theta. So I will have here r radius of this ring, radius of ring is r cos theta. So r square cos square theta, so this is the radius of ring. And the height, that is this x height, r sin theta, so we will have r square sin square theta raised to the power 3 by 2. So if I do calculations, we will have 2 pi 4 pi goes so one I will have 1 by 2 epsilon naught. So let us plug this value. 1 by 2 epsilon r into r r square I will have r r r so r q. And this r square cos square theta sin square theta 1. So this is r to the power 3 by 2 simply r q. And what I will have? I will have sigma into sin theta cos theta d theta. Sin theta cos theta d theta. Are you getting? 
So if I see, I can write this is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Are you getting? So this is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. RQ cancels out. Sin theta cos theta d theta. And what should be the integration limit? So integration limit should be, so if you take 0, you will have here, you will have a ring, so if you increase, you will have a ring something like this. So slowly, slowly, radius of ring is decreases. When you have pi by 2, you will have this point. You're getting, so integration limit will go from 0 to pi by 2. I think all of you can understand this one. We have already discussed these things in the class in details. Now you can write sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta by 2, so this will become sigma by 4 epsilon naught. This is sin 2 theta d theta 0 to pi by 2. Now if you do this integration, I think you can do this one. So let us do this integration and give me the final answer. So if you do this integration, this will come out to be 1. This is your task, you have to perform this integration. So final electric field will be sigma y4 epsilon naught. Are you getting? Now the same question also says calculate the potential at the center of a sphere. So for calculation of potential we will proceed the same thing. Only thing will be so potential will be given by q by 4 pi epsilon naught r due to the point charge and even due to the ring. So due to the ring, if you remember, the potential is also given by 4 pi q by 4 pi epsilon r. So let us say in this case, so let me describe this one again. So this is my hemisphere. So this is the hemisphere. My target is to calculate potential at this point, point O. So let us take a ring. So if I consider my ring here, so elemental ring of course. So this is the width. Basically you understand. Now these charges, so charge on this ring, all charge is situated at a distance of R. Either you take this charge, or you take this charge, or you take this charge, or you take that charge. All charges of ring are situated at a distance of R. So this is simply potential due to this ring will be dQ by 4 pi epsilon naught R. Because potential are a scalar, so the all are situated at a distance R. So simply if I sum all the charges, so I will have whatever the charge I have on this, this will be dQ. And now dQ I already know, so V is, so we have already calculated dQ. So you can check your copy, so dQ I have already calculated, so this is 2 pi r cos theta into r d theta into sigma that is dQ. Are you getting or not? So this value 2 pi r cos theta r d theta into sigma. So let me write dQ, so copy this one, 2 pi r cos theta into r d theta into sigma. So this will give you the radius, this will give you the thickness, this will give you perimeter, this will give you thickness, this will give you charge density and the overall divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Now if you see this will be r square and the denominator will have r. So this cancels out. So you will have 2 pi also cancels out. So you will have simply 2 epsilon naught and in the numerator you will have r into sigma into cos theta d theta. So let us check yourself. Now again integration limit will be 0 to pi by 2. So integration of cos theta is sin theta and sin theta at pi by 2 is 1 and sin theta at 0 is 0. So this will be, I, I think you can do this integration, sigma r by 2 epsilon naught. So this is the potential. Now you can remember this result. So if you have a hemisphere, 
so due to this hemisphere electric field at this point will be directed along the axis because I have taken one ring and due to one ring this is along the x-axis along the axis of ring and if I consider all the rings this will be directed along only in the, along the ring and the value is we have calculated the first part this is sigma y4 epsilon naught are you getting now if I find so this is the electric field and potential is simply sigma r by 2 epsilon naught if possible you just remember these results and we'll discuss the next problem so these are quite interesting problem one important point is how to you have to take a ring elemental ring and then you have to find the total charge on that elemental ring and due to that charge you find the electric field and of course if I have a ring I have already an expression for ring what is the expression I can use that expression for potential I know that the QY4 pi epsilon at R so at any charge in the ring is always situated at a distance R because this is a hemisphere so center of the hemisphere will always have a distance R at any point on the ring I can take so this is simply dQy4 pi epsilon at R R is the capital R radius of the hemisphere and if I take the dQ value and integrate you will get the same potential we'll discuss the next problem